Welcome back to Champlin Garage. Today, we're back with the 71. Last week, we, I got the driver's side rocker and floor and all that finished up. Since I know how to do the driver's side now, I'm going to show you how to do the passenger side. I figured I've never done it before, so this is a how-to for beginners from a beginner. So I went ahead and did the driver's side first, just so I have an idea what I'm talking about. I get you a little close-up of what it looks like now and then we'll jump into the how-to. Alright, first things first, I took the hood off, bumper off, fenders off. That way we can get back in here and pull the door off um, in order to get to the floor and to all these mounts and everything. And the rocker is in terrible shape. So that's definitely needing replaced. And the cab corner has a little hole in it. So we're gonna go ahead and weld a new piece in there also. I have a new inner floor piece here. We'll just have to tear into this and see what all we're gonna do. We're gonna start by cutting this rocker off. Since we don't really care about this piece, we're replacing it. I'll probably come in here and just cut away from them, get it out of the way, and then we'll focus on everything underneath. When you cut these out, you wanna make sure don't cut more than you're gonna replace. And if you're not sure what's behind it, cut a little section and see, that way you don't cut anything important and uh, make it harder for yourself in the long run. All right guys, so I very rough cut that rocker out. Once you get that rocker out the way, you can see back in behind and know for sure what you want to do. And my inner rockers aren't too bad, but it is super thin and rotted away. And I got some holes along this rail and I have the whole floor piece. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. And in order to get to this part, I'm either going to take out or cut these bolts because most likely they're seized and then I'll run the zip cut right along this edge. That, that way I can fit the floor piece up there and mark it and then get a precise cut. You wanna make sure never to cut more than you have to. And once we get behind some of this taken out, we'll go ahead, we're replacing these kick panels. We'll go ahead and cut the bottom here that way we can see the inside of that and see what shape it's in. And then we'll cut the bottom of this cab corner off. That way we can see behind here and see what we want to do here. But we want to get everything exposed for this floor piece because that is the furthest in we're going and that will be the base piece to base everything else off of. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out. So we got the floor roughly cut out just enough to get that outer edge out of the way so that we can fit up this piece. And as I was cutting the floor and the inside of this kick panel out, I was able to see the inside of this and it's pretty rotted out and the metal's real thin. So I went ahead and cut it because I have that piece, so I'll go ahead and replace it. I'm gonna stay down as far as I can. That way I stay away from these holes and um, it's easy to line back up because once you get up here, any way you twist it can change the fender mount. So we cut this out enough to get access. We cut the floor over about as wide as this piece is here just to give us room to fit it up in there 
On the back end, we cut this support off lower than what we expect to go with it. Cut the cab corner out also enough to get the rocker piece up in there. So then what we'll do take this piece and this one's fairly easy because you can line it up here as you see it needs to go forward a little bit there's these grooves that kind of help you line it up so in the back you want to notch out enough just so that you can get this in there without being messed with and at the front you want to notch it out as you can see I went a little bit too far but with that small of a gap we'll be able to fill it up when we weld it. And there's these holes where it bolted on to um, the cab support. Those don't have to be perfect. We can drill those out to match. Every single one of these trucks is gonna, gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna line this up. We'll clamp everything together and then we'll mark this and I'll show you when we get to that. So we have it clamped up in you can see there's like a gap here don't worry about that yet as long as this is tied up to those fin or to those uh, cab mounts behind it and as long as it's tight and fitting nicely around all of these curves they're clamped back there to hold that in place and this hole on my other side did not line up either but that's okay, what we'll do is we'll just take a punch or anything and we'll just uh, waller this hole out and that'll get covered up with the seat belt. So everything's fitting up tight. You can use a marker or whatever. It'll leave a real fine mark. We'll cut on that mark to leave a little bit of a gap. You want a little bit of a gap between the new panel and the old panel. That way when you weld it from the top, it's enough gap that the weld can get all the way through and get to the bottom also, because we are gonna be grinding all of it flush. So I'm gonna mark this, cut it out, and then get this fit up and ready to go back in. Got everything cleaned up. We got the insides of the floor supports coated with some pour 15. And I just got the rocker tacked in here. I forgot to start recording, but I have it held in with these clamps. What these clamps do is this sits down on the sheet metal like they are back here. And then underneath you have this little block that goes in and it'll pinch the sheet metal in between and give it a very flat surface. So I'm gonna get all of these, I got all of these smooth and lined up with this, um, with my cut. As you can see, I have that slight gap there to get the weld all the way through. I clamped it to the floor supports. I clamped it to the top of the floor up there, but it's fitting up real nice. And this is just real easy to line up. call it a day I got the inner rocker and outer floor piece in it's all tacked in this is all still rough cut I have the kick panel ready to go in I was fitting this piece up but I wasn't exactly sure where it needed to go as far as up and down because once you get this cut it's kind of tricky and my fender is at the house so I'm gonna bring the fender tomorrow we'll bolt the fender on and then we'll get this lined up, make what cuts we need and get it tacked in. And check out this big old chunk of body filler that was in the cab corner. Came out when I started cutting it out. And it's like a whole tube right there. But anyways, we'll jump back on this in the morning. 
All right, we're back on the truck. We're gonna throw that fender up in place, get that mount where it needs to be, and go ahead and start getting all this tacked in. here this is clamped down here we haven't put anything through we'll have two bolts going here if the cab corner cut pretty close to where it needs to be but before I do that and the rocker I went ahead and welded this piece out and we're gonna hang the door back on because how you position the rocker in that cab corner you want them to match the contour and the curve and everything in the door so we're gonna spray that with some primer we're gonna put the door back up, line it up, get, then we'll focus on getting the cab corner and the rocker lined up and tacked up. Got the cap corner tacked in just along the top. I didn't do anything along the side here. And then I'm getting this rocker fit in here. You can leave the door on and kind of wedge the rocker in. That way you don't have the door on and off 15 times doing this. As you can see, I still need to clean up those welds so this will push over. And then this should tighten up this gap. The back is pulling over pretty decent. It's um binding up a little bit i don't know if you can see that on that little lip there so i either need to bend that in or get it to where it goes up in that hole a little bit better in order to get that lined up and then once you get those clamps out the way you can keep closing and opening the door making sure everything is lining up you're gonna have a gap here that's not welded but from the factory that just was seam sealed. so I'm gonna keep making fine little adjustments bending pieces cutting pieces whatever I need to do to get this fit up and then get everything set and get it tacked got it all fit up it's clamped in I got all my holes drilled I did notch out a little bit in here I had to cut this corner, that way it'd fit up over this just because it was a little bit different of uh, a fit. So I'm going to go ahead and get that tacked in. guys so here's the finished product well not completely finished I still got some welding to do but everything's in where it needs to be and for the most part lined up pretty well not perfect but for my first time doing it I don't think that's too bad of a job 